Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to install the OVA file for the Mega CNC. If you go to dipcyclepower.com, go under the software category, you will see that uh, there is the Mega CNC OVA file. I sell it for five euros to cover the cost of download from uh, Amazon S3, and uh, you can get access to the download link after you make the purchase. Once you made the purchase, you install the virtual box and let me remove this one and show you how to create it again. File import appliance. You will go and select the Mega CNC OVA file. Next, here you will see the default settings that uh, I used for this machine. I gave it four gigabytes of RAM, two CPUs. You might want to edit this if you're running the virtual machine on a um, less powerful computer. You can give it one CPU and two gigabytes of RAM especially if, if you are not using too many mega cell chargers. After that, you click on finish. And the appliance is being created. While this is uh, importing, I want to show you how to do it with uh, VMware as well. On VMware, you can go to open virtual machine and select the OVA file. When you choose the path, make sure you have enough space for the storage. You should have more than 80 gigabytes available for the virtual machine. Alright, so it's importing in VMware as well. Inside the virtual box, the Mega CNC has been created. And you should go to settings and go to network and make sure you, you select the right network card that's connected to your network. Otherwise it will get the wrong IP address and uh, the way to attach it, it's bridged. This way will uh, allow the virtual machine to get its own IP. When you click start, the virtual machine will launch it takes one or two minutes to launch the virtual machine once it's launched you will see the interface Sometimes it flickers because uh, of the virtual machine drivers, but you don't have to care about this because the service already started. The only thing you need is to know the IP address of the machine. And the assigned IP address is this. And now in a web browser, you can access the Megasol Charger command and control dashboard. I'm going to Power this off for now to show you how it performs inside the VMware as well. Okay, Mega CNC is on. It's fine, you just click yes. Alright, so it got an IP as well. On the VMware, you also have to check that you assign the right network card, the right network adapter. And you can see that in Virtual Network Editor. So you see that VMNet0 it's bridged and this is the um, network adapter. 
but as long as you get an IP address you should be able to access this so this is the IP address one So it's that simple now to run the virtual machine with the uh, Mega CNC. And to end this video, I'm going to show you how to actually update this in case there are updates available on Git. I usually do videos with uh, new updates and uh, if you're running on an older version, you will be able to update easily by running just a command. So you open a terminal inside the virtual machine. You go in the home di directory and you'll see that there is a MCC service update that sh. You need to sudo MCC service update. MCC is the best is the password and I'm going to show it here MCC this is how you write the password and MCC admin is the username you can change that in Ubuntu if you want to but uh, if uh, but by default it comes with these settings so you see by running that command with the update file it's going to update the files and rebuild the application it's going to take a few minutes to complete this if there are changes and once that's done it's going to restart the application It's going to be the same process on the Raspberry Pi, the same command. No operation, no changes detected, no migrations to apply. And now the application should be up and running again. So that's it guys, that's how you deploy the Mega CNC virtual machine on a Windows computer. This will be the same process uh, no matter what operation system you're running. You can use VirtualBox on um, a Mac as well. So this should make life simpler for uh, a lot of people that are not very technical. When it comes to installing Ubuntu with Docker software and also creating services for auto start. Thank you very much for watching guys and uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach me on the deepcyclepower.com website. You can write me on the chat or feel free to add me on WhatsApp on the phone number that I listed there as well.